So today we are going to discuss sporotrichosis that is actually the subcutaneous mycosis. So in this lecture we will cover the different aspects of the sporotrichosis. So let's start. First of all the most important fungus that actually cause the sporotrichosis will be the sporothrix shinkai. So that is the most important fungus sporothrix Shinkai. Okay. So basically, Sporothrix Shinkai exists in two form, mold form and the yeast form. So that's why this fungus is actually the dimorphic fungus. Okay. So mold form will exist on the plant, or you can say mold form, or you can say hyphae. Okay. But on the other hand, the yeast form exists in the human. Okay. Here are basically the two forms of the sporothrix shinkai, mold form and the yeast form. So, next I am gonna introduce you a most famous gardener and that is the tom. Okay. Here is the tom and tom is the most famous gardeners in the world. So, one day when the tom was trimming the rose plants, okay, suddenly the tom was stuck by the thorn of this plant. Here are basically the different thorn and suddenly the tom is stuck by the thorn that are actually beneath the rose flower. Then what will happen? Then at the stuck side. So if you see, here is the tom hand. Here is the tom hand. Then you will see at the stuck side, here is the point where the tom is stuck by the thorn. Okay. And at that side, you will see the formations of the local pustules or you can see the ulcer at that side okay that is the most important thing but with the passage of time the tom see his hand and suddenly he found lions in the line and these lions are actually present along the draining lymphatics draining lymphatic system okay that is the most important thing okay at the point you will see the local pustules or you can see the ulcer okay okay and next with the passage of the time tom notice the different lions in this in the straight line. So basically these lesions are actually along the lymphatic systems. Okay. And he also noticed that these lesions don't hurt to the tom. That is the most important. It means that these lesions are painless. There is no pain in these lesions. Okay. That is the most important. So, in that scenario, you will see that in this case, in the immunocompetent patients, sporothrix shinkai doesn't disseminate to the other organs. Okay. But in the immunocompromised patients, if I say in the AIDS patient, the sporothrix shikai can disseminate to the other organs and that is actually the disseminated sporotrichosis disseminated sporotrichosis in the immunocompromised patients and the symptoms will be related to the organs that is actually affected by the sporothrix shinkai if the lungs are affected, then you will see the curves and the dyspnea. If the uh, bones and the joints are affected, then you will see the uh, 
pain in the joint. So, the symptoms in this disseminated sporotrichosis, the symptoms will be related to the organs that is actually affected by the sporotic chinchai. So, here are basically the two things which you have to remember. In the immunocompetent patients, you will never see the disseminated sporotrichosis. But in immunocompromised patients, you can see the disseminated sporotrichosis. And the starting will be the uh, local pustules and the ulcer. And you will also see the lesions along the draining lymphatics. So, if we look at the lab diagnosis. So, as we have discussed, you will see the two forms, yeast form and the mold form. So, if we take the tissue specimens, okay. So, in the tissue specimen, you will see the, in the tissue specimen, you will see the yeast form, okay. That is the yeast form. And in the microscopy, the yeast will exist in the two forms, round the yeast can be round and the cigar shape. Here are basically the two forms of the yeast. Here are basically the round shape. Okay, yeast. And these can be cigar shape. So, here are basically yeast exists in two forms. Round or that can be exist in the cigar shape okay next you can go towards the culture at the room temperature room temperature so in the culture you will see the mold or you can say hyphae okay so in the hyphae you will see the spores so in the hyphae you will see the spores or you can say conadia that is the spores and the conadia are both the same so you can see spore and the conadia along with the hyphae so if you look at here are basically the straight line will be the hyphae and along sides you will see the desi like spores so here are basically desi is actually the flower here is the appearance of the conadia and the spores and alongside you will see the branch and that is actually the conadiophore. Here are basically the different conadia and the spores and the you will see the conadiophore. Here are basically the conadia. And that actually look like desi flower. Okay, that is the most important thing. And if we last look at the treatment, so a local lesions will be treated by the that is the itraconazole, itraconazole, or you can say sporanox. That is the most important drug of choice in the sporotrichosis and last if we uh, look at the prevention so prevention so gardeners must be careful when they touch the flowers when they touch the different plants because the mold form exists on the plant so this is all about the sporotrichosis if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much